config maps are objects that help us to store non-confidential data in key value pairs in order to separate configuration from application so you can use the kubectl create config map command followed by the config map name and then you can use one of these syntaxes like this is a from file syntax and you can specify a directory which contains files with key value pairs uh, you can specify a particular file you can specify a bunch of files you can specify an environment file basically in this case uh, the config map will contain the actual key value pairs instead of the files uh, here you can specify uh, the variables or the key value pairs themselves actually right so you can use from literal for that you can also use a yaml file and you can use a you know kubectl apply command to create config maps using the yaml files and in the yaml file you can define key value pairs under the data section like this and and finally actually you can use those key value pairs in your pods that's the most important thing right right so here you can see uh, we're using the values from a certain config map and the config map name is special config and the key that we are using is this and uh, also you can uh, use those variables directly in the command uh, that is run right after the container gets created and you know these are the values that are coming from config maps again and being directly applied in the in the command so let's start with uh, basically looking at uh, what i have on my uh, kubernetes cluster i have no pods i have no config maps i mean except for the the default one that is created by kubernetes during installation um i'm going to actually show you the, the yaml files that i'll be using to create my config map so i have a simple yaml file like this which is for creating a config map i'm just defining one config map named count org and then in the data section i'm defining the or uh, the key value pair basically this is actually a deployment so it's not a pod and the deployment uh, basically creates two replicas two pods the name of the the deployment is deployment cm as in config map example and what i'll be doing is as soon as the containers get created in this deployment uh, basically it basically it will be running a command and and it's going to consume or it's going to use a variable called count and the value of count is actually coming from uh, the config map you know this might seem confusing so let's actually run some commands and and it will start making more sense so first i will be just uh, running this kubectl apply command to create a config map so then if I just do a kubectl get config map, you will see that this count arg config map has been created as we defined in the YAML file. So this is the count arg config map. And then if you look at the, if you describe that config map, you will see that uh, kubectl describe and the name of the config map right if you describe it you can see that uh, basically this count uh, key has the value four from yeah that's coming from the the yaml file okay so now i'm going to be creating the deployment or doing a deployment just using this kubectl apply command and the name of the deployment yaml file is this basically deployment with config map uh, variables right so i'm going to be doing that 
and if I do a kubectl get deployment deployment you can see that there is a deployment that's been created now if I just look at the pods I will see two pods running because we defined uh, two replicas in this yaml file so i'm going to be using a log command to look at what this uh, container is running currently the log command that will be useful is this so basically i'm going to be tailing it i'm going to be uh, looking at all the apps with this name that's the label and i want the container name and i want the timestamps so so the commands that are running is writing to uh, the log file and we are tailing that log file and it's the, the log is coming from two different pods right so this is one pod and this is another pod let's say you want to change the value of that uh, the key that is in the this yaml file so you can go in here and let's say i change it to uh, 10 right and then so basically I'm changing the value of this key count to 10 actually if you remember the command that I showed you in my uh, YAML file of the, the deployment is this actually it's basically running a for loop and it's just doing a sequence one two three four the value of count was four initially so it was just printing one two three four and I change it to ten in the config map and then I'm gonna be applying this change and then I let me just make sure the change has reflected inside the config map you can see the count value has changed to ten now all I need to do is uh, is a rolling restart of my deployment so that's the command rollout restart of my deployment and I'm gonna run this and then come back over here you will see that the the commands that are running in the container are still printing one two three four but at some point it will stop because these containers will be blown away uh, by the rollout and uh, pay attention to the, the timestamps section so now this log command basically died like for this pod it stopped at 1503 and then for this pod it stopped at 1503 again on this October 10 so now let's I'm gonna run this command again and you will see that the the new log line started from 150306 uh, a little bit before these containers died these pods died and you can see that the containers in the new pods are running this command which is printing the numbers 1 to 10 because now it is actually running a for loop that is using the count value 10 because we have changed the config map defini definition